Hey, what's up? How's it going? <clears throat> they, um, I want to talk about, uh, this is like one out of like four different subjects. And, um, anyway, um, this is the first thing I want to go over is, um, something that needs to be gone. Um, called healing. And, um, anyway, uh, basically a backdrop is that healing and cursing is the same thing. And that cursive, you know, let me just kind of explain it. Cursive is like you can draw with your penis, you know, or with someone else drawing you, basically. Because when you do a movement in your drawing, you know, it actually does require you know, um, kind of a movement -y, uh, reflection and, you know, you know, fuck you for like not listening to what I have to say for this long and not supporting me at all and not giving me, you know, any form of confirmation of what I say. But anyway, you know, curse words can't be avoided because, you know, it's, Kind of past that point, you know, it's kind of like, you know, someone had sex with someone so hard that they popped a cherry and like, you know, you could just see how bad it could just like break something past the limit. And um, it's just so strong of an impact. Cursive is not really the same as print. But anyway, uh, ace, you know, um, <clears throat> I, I couldn't think after that point because there's so much uh, pressure and pulling and pulling, you know, on everything that I'm pulling on everything that I'm pulling on. So, um, anyway, so what I mean is like, okay, here's a, here's a pin, right? And, um, healing has to do with, it's also like facing, like with your face. And, um, basically... This can feel like fat, you know? I mean, feel like, you know, if you feel someone's belly and this at the same time, and it's the same thing. Like he, uh, anyway, um, there's two different ways to draw, but when you draw something and you're trying to make it look like something, you know, if you could just sit there and scribble for two seconds like this, you know, that's more like a cursive or a healing type of thing because it doesn't have any else going on, you know, and this is also your feet, you know, and they're supposed to be attractive and be able to dangle, you know, and it has to dangle with this holding it up, you know, without any extra um, flack. We'll go over that in like another video, <clears throat> but you have to go over it, you know, because it's called pop and people sniff it, you know, and there's absolutely no reason to, um, smoke pop, because that's what it is. And it's healing, it's like smoking a healing remedy, you know, I'm really sorry, y'all. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> So anyway, what I realized, um, I got it from the game Super Mario RPG, and basically I study the upside down version of Super Mario RPG when um, when the, when uh, he's at the castle, and then hold on a second. Let me just get to that part for you. Uh, hold up. Anyway, the heel right here is um, your foot. And it can be explained by, like, just kind of looking at lag and also preemptiveness. 
but uh, no, 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 no. Hold on. You know, I mean, things that cause these facial movements of uh, like it doesn't feel good. You know, you're like I'm frustrated, and you do this like mm -hmm, stuff like that. It's also a heel. You know, this is your this is your heel or so anyone's heel. This is a controller, you know, and when someone is moving like this, see, someone can look at a foot for only so long, you know, and when it's going like this, you know, it has a, like, really good movement when it looks good when it's being moved, but also, like, your foot, <clears throat> and I'll have to explain it to you, though, it's just that it has to be, like, in a good position to, like, see it, you know. And um, when you dangle it, it's just going like this, you know, someone will move it. Yeah, everyone has to move it at the same time, of course, because it is dangling and it's moving with the energy, you know, of the uh, thumb or your, your eyeball. I have to go over that too in another video. And um, anyway, what that has to do with everything is just the fact that um, um, that healing is just looking at a foot, and it's it's looking at the heel, and it's looking at this, and uh, the problem with it <laughs> and the solution is basically that the problem is is that. Um, there is prayer. You can include that. Um, it's the same thing. Prayer, because it has to do with the foot. You know, prayer, pi, um, pie. You know, it has to do with, you know, your feet. And the pie is a foot. You know, and um, <clears throat> the problem with it is that the way we speak to each other also has a second lateral um, where we're actually uh, doing things and we keep moving and when I go like <laughs> you know that is someone also stepping it looks at me you know and that, that's a part of my controls you know and part of their controls you know now I wouldn't want you know that to be that way if I'm like which I don't want to do like when I was you know like not aware of what this is also this kind of uh pulse of air that comes out of your mouth you know and kind of you know like a rocket propels something and it's how much um how much pressure comes out of your mouth to propel your foot you know or what's under it with this little contour pressure here this little area here with the bottom of your foot which is the same thing you know, and if it if it's not shiny and you don't want to like smell it and lick it, you know, and if you sweat it, if it smelled good, um, that's basically a good thing if it, if it smells good and has a good contour of uh, like you know like a car's contour instead of like a really bumpy you know just full of like nasty slimy shit everywhere contour and um. <clears throat> You know, the point to it is just the fact that uh, that um, in memories and in speech, we have a lot of learning. However, actually, it is more like healing, and it is healing, and it's prayer. And um, healing and prayer is different than learning, I could say, you know, if I wanted to learn something. But now I learn looking back at the you know, two years of my life that you know, I had to remember anything. Because I was having anal with a diaper. Um, um, I think that uh, all in all, you know, healing definitely has to do with feet. And um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I, I forgot what I was going to tell you.
Well, the problem with it is just the fact that, you know, when you're doing something serious, you're doing something fun, you know, it seems that there's, you know, a difference between doing something fun and doing something serious. And, you know, it really makes no sense to have something where you're like, ah, I got to do a good job at this, you know, and at the same time, like, I don't feel like a good feeling, you know, I don't feel abajibi when, you know, I am talking, you know, like when I'm talking and I'm like, you know, like serious and sad about something, it should also have a pleasurous feeling, you know, that feels good instead of something that just feels good, you know, that doesn't feel bad. It doesn't make any sense because I'm speaking English. But basically, you know, um, I don't know. I mean, that's just how I feel about that. I think that uh, healing, you know, I think that it just has to do with healing. You know, I think it has to do with healing, you know. But yeah, the point, see how I'm just kind of like reiterating and saying the same thing over and over and over? Um, there's basically in healing and putting, you know, is that for some reason this, there are moments where something was too violent, you know, or something would happen and it, it seems to be like unwanted feelings, you know, and this should fix that to understand that, uh, you see how I stopped talking right here and I just said that, uh, and then you would put what I would say, right? it has a little rocking back and forth um it's kind of like over here i'm over here and i'm over here i'm over here is what would be said you know because my nose is this way my foot you know was facing over here and then it was facing over here my heel was over here now if i'm a fat chick that wants to fuck you and is turned away from you and wants you to admire me you know then it would seem you know like if I was a fat chick, I, I, I mean, I can be a fat chick, you know, but that's the thing about it is that, you know, this turning right here, part of now, you know, this is what it feels like, you know, when you're actually learning, you know, when it, when, it, when you're healing, this is what it sounds like, you know, when someone's healing you, this is it right here, this is it, you know, but, but, but. Uh, uh, you know, smell. You know, this is it right here. This is how it's supposed to sound. It's supposed to feel like this. That's it right there. Same, same. Just right there in that little spot. You know. And I don't even understand why we talk, you know, with our noses open. You know, um, I think if you probably is an accomplishment for you to set for yourself. It's just that you could say that, you know, people finish words for you, it seems, and so they can smell your foot. Um, I did some art earlier today, actually last night, and um, I did some work last night, and I just wanted to tell you, um, Hold on. All right, here it is. You know, it's just me. or something I drew and it's the same one on the uh, uh, image image to art unbelievable 
And on that part, <clears throat> you know, there was a, um, and this is what you're saying with healing. There was a, um, Now, it might sound biblical. It might sound spiritual. It might sound tomato uical. A word like tomato uical doesn't sound like a correct word. It doesn't sound like something that should be able to be said. But anyway, the point was that was, it says you're impossible. I don't like the computer click was the video before that and um, on this one you, know, you can see how it said you're impossible again and uh, it's just basically the sound of what I just described because I was looking at a girl's foot and so you can hear how it's like slowed when I was on the bus you can see how like right there it goes you know and it's like I just stepped right up in front of you, and then I'm ready to go, well, I had such a day, you know. <clears throat> and see, that's, you know, it shouldn't have people, like, okay, culture should not have people with feet talking, you know, and have big, gigantic toenail that's two feet wide, you know, and you can smell and breathe, and still the person's going to die and get gray hairs and not be able to stay in a social shape in a shape you know like i want to stay this way you know form you know i want to stay this type you know i want to you know so that's the point is that you know if i walk up to you at that angle and i'm just kind of like you know walking up like you know, I mean, you're going to sniff, you know, it's not going to be, you know, the fact that you sniffed, but it is because, I mean, all that is over there is the junk is healing and, you know, prayer. That's just walking and looking at a foot and basically wanting to smell it, you know, and because of that, you know, there needs to be a solution. People need to change socially on how they act. I need to. I need to learn how to. You know, I have to learn what I should do. And I need to learn what I need to do. You know, I need to learn... You know, I need to learn another language is what I think. I think because we all speak the same language that we can't actually fill in those blanks. A long time ago, you know, when you go back to history to learn what to do now and look at it as an instruction manual, you can see how every single town had its own language. Every tribe had its own language, of course, and it was still limited because every individual didn't have their own language. You know, and see, people need to have their own words that they can use. And it, it's time to really understand how much we have gone that is just learning things that were just so smart and genius and haven't got to look back at what we have done. You know, when tribes came together and they could talk to each other was one thing, you know, but that was the most important thing is that, you know, a small group of people that meet up can actually talk using, you know, the first times that language was made. The first times that language was made you know, was actually what the point of this is. Because if, if there's healing in prayer, and essentially it looks like, you know, you are basically killing a person and basically like, you know, stealing everything they have on their body and using it. So you might as well just be a vulture that's just eating someone, you know, or a shark that just ate a person. You're just pulling skin off and saying, you know, can I just feel that little boing back, you know? And, um, you know, I just think that it's really uncomfortable, you know, and, uh, one of the exercises though is, um, basically, all right, I was sitting on like the bus stop and there was like a bus coming up. No, no, there wasn't a bus coming up. But I was like turning like this. 
You know, I mean, each word that you use should have just one long pull of what needs to be said. Because, I mean, even though language was made a long time ago, actually you can make it now by understanding what these ums are. Um is not thinking. Um is actually what's in between your toe because not everyone can eat it. You know, and I know that... <clears throat> and, um... So, that's basically what I wanted to tell you. And that, uh... You know, I mean, I just feel, like, kind of weird if, like, I could just take worms and, like, put them in my nose and go, like... <laughs> I just feel like a little winky, 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 nee, 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 you know, curls, you know, and stuff like that. And it's just so irritating. And that's not a proper language, you know, and um, it gets really crowded. But uh, there's definitely a small way to say something, and there's a large way. You know, for example, <clears throat> if I sit here for this long and it's still acceptable, it seems to be that I can say something, you know, that could be, you know, if it was in English, just because all the piles of English that have created compounds, I could actually use a really long stretch of a term, you know, like, you know, a really long, slower stretch to speak, you know, instead of use, you know, just a little tiny, you know, stretch, you know, and taking little pieces of the words, you know, if I say, you know, itty bitty, and then it's like, it, e, it, e. you know, that to me seemed like one word, you know, because, uh, <clears throat> you know, it and t e and bit and t still had the motions of the walking on this part, you know, so I think that's, um, you know, when those words group together, it makes a word. You know, it makes a uh, one movement. It's like a catapult slinging your brain at you, flatting it. You know, because your brain is basically a pile of cum in your hand, in the palm of your hand. You know, and it's white colored. And if you listen to the Beatles Symphony 9 backwards, you will realize what it was like being Ringo Starr, you know, and you'll know what it feels like to see how flat the brain is and how unattractive it is to look at the pictures of the brain if it is you boxing and like and you can feel how that gets uncomfortable with the like clocking motions and clock and clerk and peak and clerk and clock and clerk and clerk and so and you know just all of those types of sounds you know like burk and dirk and cork you know corkscrew and you know just all of that type of stuff is really irritating and um, it needs to be stopped, you know, for sure. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. But yeah, when when the when the video was playing with the "You're Impossible," um, there's also a little gem that is gotten from the game. ZZC that was in my little snippet of my drawing and it uh, recreated it and in the year impossible part done again you know was proof that uh, uh, I was also listening to Eminem by any chance and um, I um, tried to like kind of replicate him I thought that it sounded like him speaking because then you're impossible. I don't like computers. Click, you know, because he doesn't like computers for some reason. And um, I thought that, you know, the song that he did, Campaign Speech, when he kicks the can, and then it has that change in the bottom and it just kind of, you know, kind of moves it just a little bit. It seemed like that kicking of that can and, you know, me like, you know, like just smelling a foot, you know, like right in your face, you know, kind of. Kind of just kind of makes some sense there, <clears throat> you know. And just to be right up in someone's face and sniff that hard, and there's nothing else to sniff, you know, it wouldn't be anything good to sniff. 
And I mean, if you hear this again with, with, the, with the steps, it's slowly coming up to it. I mean, there's no way you can like it, you know? So, you know, that's the point is that healing, you know, when you listen to a song and it says, you know, you'll be forgiven for what you do. And, you know, you're getting pounded and here it is again, you know, or, you know, don't look because, you know, someone's around giggly, diggly, diggly. You know, um, basically that is what needs to be noticed. And uh, we'll go over this in the next video. And it's just going to be about how the eye um, basically uh, creates the uh, momentic energy that we have to learn how to cultivate. And getting rid of healing, you know, does that. You know, and getting rid of cursing does that. Because cursing is the part where you don't see what's around you and you just kind of want to do other things with what's there but you don't pay attention to what is there there or what is present in the moment you know or something to that effect you know i'm sorry i can't really explain any better and i don't care so i hope you like my leak you know, i feel like i'm just taking a long time just saying what i need to and um yeah hope you enjoy that